All of it. Let's rock and roll. Hello, ballers and a pro fish. You what the fuck? Where is the? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! That was so weird! A strange green block? That is so bizarre! Jesus Christ! I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Weird green block on the stream! This must mean this is the reason why Project Titan's been cancelled! You motherfuckers, please! That was my reaction this morning. Project Titan! Delayed and scrapped and being redone. Fuck you, Blizz. God damn, are you kidding me? My god. The rage subsided and I'm okay with it now. But it took a while. It was like the death of a loved one. It takes a little moment to get used to it. About four or five seconds. Then I'm alright with it and I can move on with my life. But the initial reaction... So... Do you know how mad I was? You know what made it even worse? Do you know what made it even worse is that I needed some Diablo 3 footage. So I had to play Diablo 3 this morning. Do you know how hard it was to get 10 minutes of Diablo 3 footage? My god. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I was talking to Blubzar about it this morning. And he said, oh, you, you, uh, you played Diablo 3. You look lost. I was like, dude, I was desperate to log out after 5 minutes. I was so bored. <laughs> I was so fucking bored. I was like, oh god, all the clicking... <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh god. Uh, but yeah, I did it. I should have just put some. I should have just put me studying Ogrima. I would have got away with that. Ten minutes of footage. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Nonetheless, that's not why we're here today. Today is Wednesday, which is reset day. And that means it is workshop day because most of you are about to go raid some stuff and kill some things and kill everything in the world and get some big purpley loots. Awesome. As such, the workshop is a simple idea. You record yourself playing, and you send me the YouTube video of it. And then I say, hey, you might want to check on this, you might want to check on that. What we don't do on the workshop, which a lot of people don't get sometimes, is we don't look at things like gemming, reforging, even what gear you're wearing. I never check your armories. I don't check if you're doing this or that. What I do check is your gameplay. A lot of people fail to understand that it's the gameplay that actually causes huge DPS losses. You can take the biggest, badass character in the world, but if you play with it wrong, you're never going to be able to do any sort of good, solid results. So what I like to do is look at various gameplays and say, you should think about that. Your position is slightly wrong. This needs to work out. And then you guys can go, oh, maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. So all you do to submit to the workshop is record yourself playing. You can use free programs like OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's completely free at the moment. You could use something like that. Upload it to YouTube and then email it me to workshop at preachgaming.com. Now, my inboxes fill up a lot, which means if you send it to the wrong email, I'm probably not going to get it. I check my workshop email. And I go through them there. Not every video makes it to the workshop. Some of them are just people being absolute gangsters and wanting me to show it on YouTube and go, look how good you are. Special little snowflakes you guys are. I'm never going to do those or some of them need minor tweaks and therefore I'll just reply with an email. Today we're going to be looking, I was going to do two, I think we'll do three. But one of them is kind of because I'm a bit of an asshole. I found it just baffling, absolutely bafflingly hilarious, so we'll probably look at that first. Our major one is going to be on a warlock. Those warlocks out there, living it large. The warlock's in a great place right now, where we just play absolutely wrong, and things don't work out for us. And that sucks, right? We have this really good class in a fight that is designed for us to be super awesome. This fight is made for us to win the day, and we just do it completely wrong we just do it horribly wrong we're going to look at a shadow priest and we're also going to look at a protection paladin the most difficult of difficult classes to play let's start with the protection paladin now our protection paladin is going to be doing 10 man normal emperors a lot of people like sending me emperors when they're tanking the worst fight you could ever send me by the way ever as a tank ever ever is garolon seriously if you want me to help you with your tank, do not send me a video of Garalon. Don't tank anything. 
It's a waste of time. In fact, for tanking, I really prefer five mans done fast. Love that. Five mans done fast, really, really like. In raids, tanking's rolls kind of don't die. That's kind of it, don't die. Um, there's not much in terms of like doing interrupts, controlling lots of mobs, moving quickly, doing all these kind of things that an advanced tank can do. Uh, challenge modes, magnifique. I love the, mag uh, the challenge mode tanking videos. They're really cool. Um, let's go into it. First of all, we're going to do what we always do is look at the UI. You're going to notice something. You're going to get upset. You ready? You ready to get upset? You ready? Ready to get really upset? Good. Because we're about to get very upset. Okay. <laughs> Here is our UI. Here we go. Oh, man. Let's go. Okay, so we're looking at how this guy plays. I'm looking at the UI. No omen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mother of god. Two big buttons. There's a reason. There is a reason for those two big buttons. Clicker, 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 clicker. My god. Now. Clicky, 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 clicky. Yeah. Okay. So we're only going to take a brief look at this one because the issue is obvious. However, it's actually awesome because despite... Despite the fact that our man is a clicker, and yes, he's pretty slow on various abilities, he never ever gets hit by the swipe. Never. And that's what I was waiting for. I saw the first couple of minutes, I saw the clicking, and I thought he's going to get hammered. He doesn't. And you know what? Casts all his spells while he's moving as well. Does really, really well. I was expect. I was like, oh, you got owned so hard on this video, right? You got owned so fucking bad. Uh, no, actually. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, you can see... <laughs> but you can see where the eye line is. You can see the mouse moving backwards and forwards constantly. I mean, it baffles my brain that you didn't get hit. But there you go. Yeah, pro clicker. Still a clicker, though, which is just it's horrible. Uh, you can see the mouse going. It Actually, at first, I did wonder whether or not our friend... Uh, was trolling me, was trolling me hard uh, in terms of somebody who, you know, asked his guild whether or not he can click for the fight and see if he can get away with it because he's a very, very good player. Movement is actually really nice. Doing all the nice movements. Clicky, 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 clicky. And then I spotted there was actual keybinds. These are bound to numpad 4, numpad 3, which indicates to me our man has a Razor Naga considering things are on like numpad 9, numpad 8, uh, which is typically what the Razor Naga keybinds show up as if you show your bindings. Um, but in the notes he did say... I'm a clicker and I can't stop doing it. Horrible situation to be in. I'm a clicker and I cannot stop doing it. I've tried. And I can't do it. And it's... Everything's got to keep going to it. You just can't stop it. And... Yeah. It's unfortunate because your potential to be really, really good. You do need to fix this. Okay, you do really need to fix this. Because although you do well, there's obviously a lot of room for improvement. And the big issue comes when things happen that are unexpected. Clicking can be gotten away with. We've got evidence here. In fact, I'll just play the video while you do it so you can see he doesn't actually screw up. Clicking can be gotten away with. As demonstrated here, you can get away with clicking. The problem occurs when things go wrong. They really do occur when things go wrong. And we need to react super fast. And then suddenly it all goes completely pear-shaped. And that's never good. And we just can't react quick enough because we're clicking. And there you can see Guardian the Ancients, uh, Guardian the Ancient Kings product using that there. Now, one of the problems that we run into. So we're going to disregard the clicking for now, okay? Let's just forget that. Forget the clicking for now. Just let it go. It's not, not a big problem. Okay. It is a huge problem, but he knows about it, he's going to work on it. Uh, in terms of the UI, please for the love of God, get rid of all this crap and this. You just don't need it. The fact that you're clicking, you really don't need this. Uh, his problem actually occurs later down the fight. Later down the fight, and he's going to die. Ooh, oh, 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 look at that mouse, what do I do? I love this. This is the sign of when clicking goes wrong, okay? Uh, when clicking goes wrong. Health bar getting low. There should be a show when clicking goes wrong. I would be into it. I would be very much into it. And our health's dropping. But we've got no cooldowns. And you can see the mouse go to where the cooldowns are. And then wander over to Word of Glory. Which is pretty much all we've got. And it's a sad day because we our penis falls out of our pants. 
and suddenly we end up in this situation, which is never cool. It's never good. The boss is nearly dead, as you can see there, but we're dead anyway. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is that he died? Whose fault is that? He got no healing! Straight in with that big batty. Look at that guy. He got no healing. He got no healing. And it's what we go to first, right? He got no healing. Healers, healers, healers. Matt Raff's got it right. He had no cooldowns. Should have. It's his fault. It's the tank's fault. It's very easy for us to say, I had no cooldowns left, so it's the healer's fault. No. Absolutely fucking not. No way. It's your fault because you used your cooldowns wrong. You didn't cycle them properly. You should have a cooldown all the time. You should never be caught with your pants down on something like the Emperor's. You can't do that. You can't expect the healers to be like, oh, you've used all your cooldowns? Oh, okay, then they're supposed to have to spam you or ask for an external cooldown. Which is always nice if you ask for an external cooldown. Uh, but that doesn't happen in the least. And we die. And we instantly have that gut feeling of there's nothing else I could do. I couldn't do anything more. Well, there is. There is something more you could do. What you should have done is, this is at 4 minutes and 53s, you should have gone way, way back when your problem started. Which is around here when you were all nice and safe and dandy. And you didn't use any cooldowns at that point there. During here. We didn't use anything. As you can see, they're all here and they're all fine. We've got every cooldown we have wasn't used here. Now the problem is, at the beginning of the fight, healers are far more liberal with their heals. Because at the beginning of the fight, they have a lot more mana. They have everything fucking ready. They're not worried about anything. They could be a little bit more spammy. They could be a little bit more forgiving. They could just waste a little bit more mana on you. And you don't really use a cooldown earlier on. It's not the point. Every time we delay a cooldown, it means we're going to use it more often than not in the middle of the fight. And then at the end of the fight, we haven't got anything less left. What happens then, of course, is towards the end of the fight, our healers don't have that much mana anymore. People have taken damage. The wear and tear, the grind of the fight has started to settle in on the whole raid. Everyone's under the effects of attrition as you come towards the end of the fight. And we're left naked. We're left absolutely naked because we saved our cooldowns for that point when I was like, Ah! Oh! When we should have been preventing ever being in the er uh, situation in the first place by cycling our cooldowns very early. So every time something comes out, we have a plan. We have a nice plan in our head. What are we going to use every time we come back into the fight? If you play like that, you have a cooldown every single time. And you avoid them scary situations. They just don't happen. And why? Because you're always under the effects of a cooldown when you come back. Um, so this is what caused the problem. This is what caused you to die, essentially. Is that very early in the fight, only a few seconds in, when you're tanking the boss, is you didn't use anything. And as we work down the list, you can see still no cooldowns were used. Nothing was used there. And as we work down, then we're still in this situation. In fact, we made it to a minute and a half where we were tanking here and we still hadn't used any cooldowns. We hadn't used fucking any cooldowns at all. They're all just sitting here doing nothing. And then we got to the situation where we're about to die and we'd used everything and nothing was back. We have nothing back. We didn't mitigate the damage earlier in the fight, which would have allowed us to do that. Now, look, let's look a little bit at the healers here. As you can see, our Shaman and Priest. Look at these guys. This is the problem. Look at these guys. They are out of fucking mana. Your healers are oom. They haven't got anything left. They're balls to the wall naked on everything. Both healers are out of mana. And now we're running into that situation where we just we haven't got anything. This is us. We've got no health left. We have nothing to gain. We can't stop this happening. But guess what? Nine seconds later, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shield wall was available. Shield wall is available now. And that's what happens. Shield wall was available. In fact, if we'd used that just slightly earlier on, we would have come into that final phase with shield wall on. As soon as it came out of devastating combo, we would have gone, shield wall, motherfuckers. I ain't gonna die. It doesn't matter what goes on because we should have used it earlier on. Instead, what we did was delay and push and push our cooldowns back down the line till we ended up using them at all the wrong times when it wasn't absolutely necessary. And then when it came to when we really needed it, we really needed it, it wasn't there for us. It wasn't available, we couldn't do anything, we were just fucked. 
Uh, and that's one of the big issues. So other than the clicking, which is totally obvious, everyone gets that. Even the lay on hands was used three minutes ago. There is a point in the middle of the fight where we just spammed everything under the sun. As you can see, we had all our cooldowns available here. We just used lay on hands. Um, that's what caused that, and you need to be aware of that. Always think, don't just blame your healers. For the love of God, don't just blame your healers. I didn't have anything left. Why didn't you have anything left? That's the first question. I have no cooldowns here. I should have. I should have had a cooldown. I shouldn't have been in this position at all. Uh, and that's what leads you to do that, okay? So clicking, come on now. Come on now, we can fix the clicking. Let's get it done. Uh, now we're going to look at a Shadow Priest. This Shadow Priest. <laughs> You're going to make me bad. You're going to make me mad. You guys are making me mad. There's something so irritating in this video. Uh, let's look at the Shadow Priest. Have a quick looky look at what our Shadow Priest is doing. Look at that icon. Hey, I think you're Lei Shen Trinket Prot. I'm not sure though. Maybe. <laughs> maybe Prot, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Sometimes I'm just not quite sure. Sometimes I'm just not quite sure if it Prot or not. <laughs> Everything's critting. Woo! <laughs> Woo, baby. Woo. What do you think of the UI overall? I would also make it that big. I want it that big as well. It's important. It's that important. <laughs> LVI. Yeah, it is the LVI. You can see you've got the location on Halo. Actually, a very nice UI. I didn't have much trouble with this at all. I actually thought it was really cool. Uh, I was perfectly fine with this guy's UI. Now, what comes from the gameplay of this one is a pretty simple thing that goofs us up. And it's going to lead us into the next video. This is why I chose them. It's sort of a theme of moving and DPSing. Shadow Priests, not great at moving. They're not. Our man here loves to move all the time loves it fucking loves it it's like the floor is on fire it's like it's collapsing um <laughs> and it's all over the damn place and it actually causes us huge dps loss all the time we just cut look at the shimmy constantly shimmying always moving around and he's, he's even taken the uh instant cast mind spike talent mind spike forgot the word there see the dance we're doing the dance we're moving we're moving we're keeping it moving. Always moving, never forgiving. Always moving, always dancing. It's almost like every couple of spells we're going on a wild run. Uh, and it's always pretty strange to do so. It's um, it's weird. It's weird. We really need to slow this down. Is the first thing I'm going to tell you. is You don't need to move all the time. I go position, 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 position. Sometimes position is fine. Okay, you need to bear that in mind. Your class isn't great at moving. It has very few opportunities to move effectively. Shadow of Pain being the most obvious one. Gives you a nice open stance to move around. Uh, you do need to move quite a lot in this fight. You're not wrong there. But what we don't need to do is move all the time. Because that's just delaying us. It's costing you DPS. Every few seconds, you're just not casting spells. Every few seconds, you're not casting spells. And for the love of fucking Christ, I beg you. I swear to God, I will marry you. If you stop using Halo wrong, I beg of you, please. Your Halos are some of the worst Halos I've ever seen. And it makes me so sad. It makes me really sad. I think... <laughs> I, ca I see you cast a lot of Halos. I think, like, one of them hits. Or maybe... Th maybe There's probably more that hit than that, but I was pretty sure near enough every Halo you cast it. Look at this dancing. We're all over the place. We fucking love it, man. We're dancing. If you are going to take the instant mind spike talent, by the way, you don't need to spam it as soon as it's cast it, as soon as it procs. Uh, it's not necessary to get rid of it as fast as possible. And certainly doing that, because it will proc again. You're unlikely to waste a proc. Yeah, full disco. We are full disco all the time. No problem moving to Thunderstruck. It's fine and dandy. No issue with that. Uh, but is, are we going to do it in a second? Uh, there's a, <laughs> there goes the halo. <laughs> Didn't hit. <laughs> it's so close to. This is why it was so frustrating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so painful. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm really close, so I'm going to cast Halo now. And look at Lei Shen just run away from it. Oh, 
Oh, it's so close. <laughs> and it just goes, eh. <laughs> Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's so good. And there's, um, there's another point later where we'll uh, also... Bear in mind, Halo is a wonderful AoE spell. It's a really, really good AoE spell. There's some AoE in this fight. Just bear that in mind, okay? Bear that in mind. Um, now, what I wanted to show you is a couple of swaggy moments before we move on to the Warlock. Now, the big issue here is your movement. You're just moving all the time. You can see you're shimmying, you're shimmying, shimmying. You know this guy's going to go this way. So that's what your thinking should be. This is what the whole point of this workshop was. Is you have the ability to move well because you picked up this talent, okay? I'm not saying it's the best talent in the world, whatever. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Um, but you just want to gradually edge over. That's all. You want to be gradually edging over to where you want to be. Um, and that's, that's pretty cool. That's all nice and dandy. And we're moving over. Getting ourselves nice and ready. Now, there's a point, I believe... If I'm not mistaken, I think I am. Yeah, I am. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we just need to be thinking about our position more than anything. So we'll skip on to a bat Now, we're obviously trying to gather. We're trying to do various things. We're trying to be in the best position we can be. Halo is something you want to get rid of pretty regularly. But when you start delaying it like and messing around with it, and especially if you're expecting some AoE, then you're going to have a bad time. What you should have been here is this this position is all wrong, which is strange because you're moving so much. It's strange because you're using, moving so much um, that you don't actually seem to know where you're supposed to go. It's this headless chicken mode, right? We know we need to go somewhere, but we don't know where. I know I need to be moving and checking my position all the time, but I don't know where I'm going. If you're going to consider your position, which you should be doing all the time to get best DPS, because what the aim of finding a good position is, is that you can just stay still and cast. We're looking for a place where we don't have to move. That's what we want. That's the golden child. What the whole point of thinking position, 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 is to find that place where we don't have to move. I want to find the place where I will never have to move for as long as possible. I want to stay there and camp my feet. That's what I'm looking for all the time. What I'm not looking to do is go, maybe I should go over here now, maybe I should go over there, maybe I should go over here. And that really goose you up. I think this is one of those AOE moments where you didn't have Halo either, uh, which kind of sucks. Or you popped it at the wrong time, I want to say. I kind of want to say you popped it at the wrong time, but maybe it was slightly earlier than this. Is it there? Yeah, you had Halo coming... Uh, you had Halo there and used it on that guy, I guess. Um, which isn't, isn't too bad, I guess. Uh, but I know I'm going into the AOE phase of this fight. I know I'm going into the AOE phase of this fight. And what I really, really want to be doing is making sure I have Halo for that. Because it's great damage and it actually helps the raid. As much as some people might see it as padding. Uh, it's not. Because a Halo here, that's doing some good damage. A Halo in this position, that's doing all good stuff. Uh, we should have moved here. Again, our position is awful. So bad. So bad. If we go back to here. We've just used Halo on the single mob. And... Now we're looking to... Uh, let's ignore the procs for now. Ignore the procs. I'm pretty sure we're not watching procs, although we've made the tell me when's for it. That's more an advanced thing. But we know the AoE phase is coming. Setting up now. Our position, we've got two or three instant procs here. Get your ass over there. You've got to gather these up. You stop here. Then you go and trundle over. We have no plan. No plan at all. And it's all about the plan. Everything is about the plan. Moving is a plan really is a cool it's what it is about moving and repositioning is the plan it's the plan i want to enact when moving in there i could have haloed i could have used my instant mind spike i could have used mind mind blast that was on the proc as well i would have been right on top of Leishen's nutsack i would have been sniffing his cock so hardcore and then aoeing everything down instead i stumbled and started and i was kind of reapplying a dot and all that kind of stuff and i just wanted to uh, we always have a fucking plan to get to where we want to go. That's what we need, is a plan to get to where we want to go. If we're going to move, where are you going? And why are you going there? Every time, that's what we're planning in. Where are we going and what are we doing? If we're going to do little shimmies like this, get into a little bit more tricky stuff. A little bit tricky. Not tricky, but kind of thing you should be thinking. Um, right, lightning whip's about to come. Six seconds on Shadow Word Pain. Okay? Instead of moving and doing nothing, 
we should be moving and casting okay these are the little things okay it's the little tiny things that save you time make you do a lot more damage a lot more damage because you've had to move anyway you've recasted shadow of pain and then you'd be in good shape instead of coming here and then we're gonna we've got no vampiric touch on Ooh, there it is and now we've recasted shadow of pain later you're saving yourself globals all the time that's the point of good positioning is to save yourself globals as much as humanly possible really need to save those and make it work for you you're gonna do the halo you're gonna do it you're gonna do it aren't you you're gonna do it and make me upset no come on come on halo is running away go on do it do it do it oh we're gonna use a proper one there we go that's the halo but ooh, nice 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 good see we got it much better there that was miles better miles miles better although we could have done with shimmying in a little bit there just helping out with those ball lightnings but they got gripped in which is cool all good we've got the basics there we're thinking about our movement all the time we're moving as much as humanly possible we're moving all the time too much too much think about where you want to end up and how you're going to get there and take your time wait for those instant cast procs and edge over there and then stay there you should be looking for a place where you don't have to move where is Lei Shen going next I'll move to there what's happening next aoe phase well i'm going to save my halo and i know i need to stand on Lei Shen. i'll be close to him so i'm going to work out how to get there it's a slow process it's not a dance disco john travolta it's never like that that's not what we want to do you want to take your time and just think about it while you're casting nobody needs to tell you to cast mind flay or mind blast or whatever you've done that a million times all you should be doing is go i wish i was stood over there if i was stood over there i'd be in good shape so i'm going to move there the next time my my, my mind, mind spike procs or my shadow of pain procs. I'm just going to edge over there really nicely. I'm not going to dance backwards and forwards and end up getting in the way. Now, on to our walk. How are we looking for time? Good. Did well there. We're doing well. Um, we're going to be looking at a destruction warlock. A lot of you playing destruction right now. Great spec, so I heard. Um, so we'll look at the UI first of all. <laughs> then we look at a destruction wall. Uh, so we'll do the UIs as per. I take a nice drink. Mm. Oh, Glaron. No one ever said that. No one ever said that. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> LVI again. This ain't right. Is it? No, it's not nice and clean. No. Yeah, why are we tracking gates? Why are we tracking portal? I, I don't even particularly mind demonic circle too much. But we do we really need to track flask, food buff, all this stuff? What happens? Destruction warlock. How do I word this without being too opinionated? A destruction warlock doesn't have that much to track. Came out well. It doesn't have that much to track. It only has a very few amount of spells. And they take a while to cast. There's no big deal about it. We only have one dot to track. Not a big deal. What we need to be thinking about with a Destruction Warlock that makes it really work. <laughs> fuzzy. Um, is when things proc. Right? Because we bank our big hitters. This is why Warlocks are magnificent. Anybody who said I was too opinionated, remember that my Warlock video said they are magnificent. They are a wonderfully well-designed class. Okay, they're spectacular. This particular style of playing the Warlock revolves around when does shit proc, then I'm going to drop things like Chaos Bolt on it. Because you bank them up. You don't need to fire off your Chaos Bolts as soon as you get them. They bank up, they store. They're just sitting there waiting for you to go, are you super powerful yet? Are you super po Is your Lay Shen Trinket bigger than your face? Okay, then let's go. Let's go and do it. Let's go and hit some fucking bastards in the face, right? That's what it's waiting for. But when we have a UI like this that is just tracking everything, then we have a big problem. There is no fucking way on earth you are actively tracking that rain of fire. No way on earth you are actively noticing this rain of fire. Because it is buried. Absolutely buried. All the way in here. It is buried amongst demonic gateways. It is buried amongst demonic summons. Under flask. Under well fed. All we need on here is procs. Okay. You have tell me when or whatever this might be. Set up. There is just no fucking way you are keeping track of those things. It's an impossibility. 
it is really an impossibility because it's buried and everything's green. Green fire is not that good. Sorry to ruin your day, it isn't. Um, but it's buried, absolutely buried under a big pile of crap. And we can't track it properly, so we lose uptime on that. So that's the first thing, right? We use, we lose uptimes. And this is a problem. It is a problem. Now, the UI itself is very, very nice. Although, damage taken. Can you guys see this if I turn myself off? Why? Are we hiding damage? Is that what we're doing? Are we hiding our damage? But we are tracking damage taken, which is odd, to say the least. Um, I, I can only assume you're hiding, uh, hiding your damage for whatever reason, but that's okay. Uh, whatever your reasons are, I don't mind. So we're going into it. Now, I'm going to let this play. Uh, we got some good Warlocks in the chat. Any advanced Warlocks or heroic Warlocks, I should say. We got some good heroic Warlocks. I'm sure we have. I'm sure we have got some. Yeah. Oh, Nupsy's here. Cool. Okay. Uh, Nupsy. <clears throat> Something very wrong is going on. <laughs> I love that when your rain of fire hits the ceiling. So funny. Um, let's talk, Let's see if you guys can notice it, okay? Just watch what's going on. And we'll see what you think. Mm -mm. That makes me elite lock. <laughs> I've got a level 81. Uh, you didn't kill Jaden's cunning. We're going to talk about that. We are going to talk about that. Where's the rain of fire? Yep. Yeah. What are we not doing, in fact, at all? You kind of linked it towards that rain of fire havoc. No, I mean just in general actually. It's more simple than that. Uh, we're not doing something. Because this fight grants destruction warlocks something an amazing opportunity. Yeah, we're not AoEing. It's as simple as that. We're not AoEing. We are in the fight that is God's gift to destruction's warlock. Uh, to the destruction warlock. And we are just not AoEing. And we're not doing something which is commonly known infinite embers it's called infinite embers uh infinite embers is a t is an ability that happens to destruction warlocks when they start aoeing and it is in fact the greatest thing on earth it's the greatest thing on earth infinite embers is the stupidest thing that ever happens and that's why you'll see some destruction warlocks or even demonology warlocks who do the same thing who do something similar with um infinite amounts of demonic rage is they just skyrocket ridiculously in the damage i mean crazy they go to four five six hundred k dps has been noted on this fight thanks to these warlocks and we just don't do any of that we don't do any of that we don't aoe at all we just throw around an immolate and we tend to single target we're trying to havoc some various stuff but we've got all these things there's no rain of fire and there's one rain of fire there and but pff, my god and then we come into this phase with the cracked shell and we're trying to do some cheesing but we're not even immolating him we're not even immolating. And it's 